welcome. Mike, long program is yours. Just prepping for another segment. Thought, you know what? Let's just hit record and roll this bad boy. There's a few things I want to adjust. I adjusted the lighting. It's a little bit in my eyes, but I think for, you know, your perspective looking in, it might might be a little clearer. Uh, I changed a few camera angles. I noticed on the track drive video when I had the little handheld camera sitting here on the bench pointing down that when I was banging on this thing that I was getting some vibration and it didn't look good. So I put it right up above me. That way it's shooting straight down. The only thing I have to do is suck in my gut a little bit so I don't block out the part of it. <laughs> anyway. Next thing you know, uh, next thing I gotta do is I gotta clean up this track drive stuff. Uh, and then I have another external mic right there that I tried to use on the track drive video. And, you know, put it this way. When you got a book this thick for just a stinking microphone, you know you got problems. So I gotta read on that, get that thing dialed in. I have a habit of looking at my monitor instead of at the lens. So I'm gonna focus on that. I got my remote control right here. Normally when I do videos, I don't do necessarily all the camera work. I have somebody else set that up, follow me around, whatever. Anyway, setting it all up myself here. And uh, saving these parts for uh, the master door guy if he wants them. So I figure I'm gonna clean this mess up, record what I'm doing here, and uh, and then we get on that eye drive, I think. I had a man up, you know. That thing looked like a real pain. And uh, eventually, gotta do it. So now's the time. Reluctor, good part yet. Now let's see here. Get rid of some of this stuff. Don't need the motor. That. Um, idler gear, a couple gears, a sprocket, um, the hard to find stuff, slide, and um, sprocket housing, maybe good. I'll save those. Circuit board, mm -hmm. save that. Put that on this rag over here. Okay. Housing. Tape. Not much use for that. Let me put that over here for now. I think I'll probably take the starting capacitor off this and save it. But for now, let me just set it out of the way. I gotta clean my area up here. I kind of work with just the basic cheap tools that are on the workbench. Um, once again, I didn't bring my truck in, but I was watching a video from the uh, Brothers Door Geek, and uh, he called it vlogging. <laughs> I like that. Anyway, I don't know. It was like. 16 minutes of chit chat, which I found quite interesting. I kind of like that. Um, watch the whole thing. It's pretty good. Anyway, so I thought, you know what, well, let me roll this thing around here. A track drive video, you know, when you upload to YouTube, it says like 15 minutes maximum. Well, it's 26 minutes. And it said when you upload it that, uh, you know, it might not do it. But, yeah, I got away with it, so I can burn some longer videos. It doesn't necessarily pay off if they're turds. But, you know, I like to keep them short because people stay tuned for shorter videos. At least I do. My attention span is not that good. 
But, you know, I figured, hey, I'll roll the camera here while I'm getting set up. Maybe let you guys see how I get set up. What I have to do is, just for filming purposes, is I want to look at the lines on my camera where I start to fade off the screen. And I'm going to put some tape down so I know what my limits are of what you guys can see. I'm going to adjust uh, the tape lines as I move the camera, but it gives me a good idea of what's in view. If I start going too far out, you can't see in the video. It ends up looking like crap. I don't know if you guys ever seen some of these videos, but they're kind of funny. One, um, right there. One cat does a video about his rollers, and how does a camera that's doing one of these and his rollers doing one of these, and you're thinking, oh, dude. Do not drink coffee. I couldn't, I thought it was a flying saucer or something. You see them old 50s clips where it's doing this. Don't waste your time with the video. I mean, I, I gotta admit, mine, I'm not saying mine are the best. I'm just saying I put a little effort into doing the video. I'm putting the effort into it, and I'll give it up. Finds my workspace for this camera up here. Now we'll get that I drive. And, uh, you know, we'll take that puppy apart. See what it looks like. Tape marks are not too distracting, but I kind of need that for knowing where I'm at if I'm going to get this top view looking down. Okay, cool. Let me pause it for a second. I'm going to go over there and grab this. Uh, actually, I'm going to grab two or three of them. And uh, we'll check out these uh, iDrives.